tonight we are celebrating excellence. Apprentices, trainees, wonderful trainers and teachers, businesses, training organisations from right across Queensland. And it is such an exciting night to just value and recognise vocational education and training and what it means to so many people and how it touches so many lives. Oh, it's really important because we, we, we pride ourselves on having a quality training system in Queensland and when you come together on nights like tonight and you see um, the high profile organisations and uh, outstanding uh, people who have completed qualifications and they set those standards for other um, organisations and people to, to follow and so I think having those benchmarks in place that we celebrate and acknowledge really makes for a much better uh, vet system right through Queensland and continues to promote the high end outcomes that we get. Oh, look, I love these awards and I love the fact that it's packed. There's a huge amount of noise which means a huge amount of excitement so once we get in there and get going and then we're just celebrating the best that Queensland has in in training and vocational studies and you know and young people. It's important for News Corp to stand behind those who pursue vocational careers uh, and support those who, who, who choose that as a uh, career path. Uh, so for us it's about getting behind uh, whether it's students who are leaving school through to those career changes, uh, making a, a career choice uh, late in life. Busy at Work has been a sponsor for many years, long before me, and, and we're very passionate about apprenticeships and traineeships. Uh, we're all about getting young people into work, and, and more broadly getting people into work, you know, and we see apprenticeships and traineeships as a long-term sustainable pathway and a career for people. And the winner of the Premier's Industry Collaboration Award is CQ University and Logic Hands. Look, I think that if you've got an initiative which is really about improving the quality outcomes for students, then I think have a go at applying because you might just be surprised at how well received that is. And uh, certainly I think this initiative is born out of passion and, and certainly something that was really about um, a better outcome for students. And I think that was really the secret to the success. So yeah, have a go. Absolutely. And we're delighted to give some encouragement to those young people to develop their skills, develop, their, uh, develop and attain the appropriate quals and get themselves ready for the challenges that I'm sure lie ahead in their careers. Well, have a go. There's nothing to lose. It actually helps you um, focus on what you do and gives you a chance to improve. Um, you know, iron sharpens iron. We see other great businesses doing things and it just gives you that more incentive to go along. So I think it's well worth the exercise. Helps you have a bit of a, a check on how your business is going in the training sector and yeah, have a crack. My background is teaching, so these awards are really meaningful for me. Um, so you know, I want to make sure that we uh, get the very best that we can out of the training system, both the staff and the systems that they use. It means the world to me. It means the world to my school, to my t teachers, uh, to my business that I did my training in. It's just an extra bonus that I did not expect from uh, undertaking a school-based traineeship. My careers um, centre teacher offered the opportunity. My brother in the past had taken it up and he had been successful and you know I knew that if I wanted to get um, in front with other students or get a pathway this opportunity is perfect. The Bob Marshman Trainee of the Year Award is Ben Nedwich. Certainly yep it, it looks really really good on the resume. Employers will see that and they'll know that this person's dedicated, they're committed and they can do the job properly. So yeah it's it's very beneficial. They're studying full time, working full time, balancing family, you know, friend commitments and all that stuff. I guess it feel this feels like a pretty amazing way of, you know, saying that I was doing the right thing and feeling confident in my, in my choices, I guess, to take this pathway. And the winner of the Harry Horns Child Apprentice of the Year Award is Ashley Brown. All my fellow finalists, um, congratulations, it's an honour and I'm very humbled to be standing up here with you.
Don't you dare look back, just keep your eyes on me I said you're holding back, she said shut up and dance with me This woman is my dance I know each and every one of these organisations truly value training and that's why they support these events. So we, we truly do thank them tonight. We could not do this without their sponsorship and it's just as important that we uh, we recognise them and we thank them so much for their support. It's to the base and the fading lane I knew we were bound to be together Bound to be together She's a final